So for the past years that I've been doing photography, I've mainly done street photography, gone to all these cool locations as I've been traveling. But recently I've been getting into portrait photography and I really love doing it. I've been following this guy on Instagram called 19 Tones and he does these cool neon portraits and he uses prisms to create all these cool refraction looks. So I thought that was really cool and I wanted to try it out. But the only problem is I don't have a prism. Yeah. All right, we're on the hunt for a prism for Tonight's shoot. Oh, that's sick. Oh, these are awesome. Yeah. I ended up buying this and it cost me 15 bucks and it's essentially a prism thing and it's gonna create all these refractions. So I'm keen to see if this works and actually enables me to get those cool refractions and stuff. So the lens that I'm gonna be using is this Sigma 35 f1.4 DGDN. It's a super sharp lens, I use it for a lot of my portraits and I'm also gonna be giving one of these away in this video. So if you wanna figure out how to win one of these lenses, it's worldwide, anyone can win. Just stick around to the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can win it. But other than that, let's go and take some portraits. So this is Steph. She's gonna be modeling today. We kind of stuffed it up. Um, it's meant to be a night shoot, but we got here a bit too early. I guess we're just gonna do some like test shots and stuff, like just to sort of warm up. I've seen this sort of cool red light of this bank here, and I reckon if we get the prism out and sort of play around with that, we could pro potentially get some cool refraction. Because although it's not nighttime yet, it's still enough darkness here for like to get the shot. So I reckon we'll get some shots here. Yeah, like, it's sort of working this prism, maybe, I don't know. Maybe you need a break a chunk off. Yeah, because I think there's too much refraction. It's literally just like blurring all into one big ball, but I don't know, we'll keep playing around with it. But don't you have a... I don't have a prism, do you want yeah. to use it? Um, I have this. Okay, uh, I'll swap you. <laughs> wait, 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 let's not drop it. They're both kind of ghetto. Yeah. <laughs> this has like Chinese all over, I don't even know where I got it from. It's just somewhere in my house. Like, this today's sponsor is... uh. <laughs> Sheng Wang Pioneer Tech, thank you for absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, this one's working a lot better already. <laughs> Okay, this is the actual location here. Yeah, I think we'll end up using the other prism because it just sort of worked out better. Sponsored by Le Mans. Hey. Yeah, my Thank prism's you, better than yours. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, it actually is. Le Mans prism is a lot better. But at least we got a flower one. Yeah. Flower prism. Yeah. Like for flower prism, <laughs> comment for Le Mans prism. Okay, this feels so dodgy to hold. I feel like I'm going to break it or like drop it because it's like on this swivelly thing. So hopefully I don't do that. <laughs> I also have these as well if you want to use them. Oh, Yeah, I just found them in like a cupboard in my house. Like they're just like sitting there. I don't even know why we have them or yeah. who got them. They just exist in my house. Okay, I took one photo with these uh, these bracelets and it's, I reckon it's almost better because it's not as much refraction. It's just like a simple sort of minimal refraction. And because it's like, you know, I can shoot through it, if you know what I mean, as opposed to it just coming off one side of the, uh, one side of the frame. So thanks bro. No worries. <laughs> I'll pay you two bucks. Is that good? 50 bucks. 50 bucks? All right. Meet you in the middle. One dollar. Perfect. Done. Deal. <laughs> Location number two is just this. I don't even know. It's for like a dentist or something, but uh, it's like a cool symmetrical location and it's got some sort of neon sign vibe, which works out well with this shoot. So the shot I'm thinking here <laughs> is like a, just like a dead straight on symmetrical shot with the model in the, in the direct middle of the shot, so let's go. So Lamont just showed me a photo of when he did neon sign photography and it honestly looks like an insane location. I think it's probably gonna be better than everywhere we just shot, but sometimes you have to do that with photography. Keen to check it out. 
I just saw the security guard looking. Hey? We might get kicked out of this space. Good, how are you? Yeah, it's a pretty cool spot here. A lot of neon signs and different lights and stuff. Yeah, that was actually a really fun shoot. I haven't done portraits in a while. One thing that I want to do next time is use an actual triangular prism, like the ones that are actually oh, made yeah, for photography. Because although the ones that we used was were good, there was just there was way too much refraction, and you actually couldn't really shoot through the refraction. Mm. Uh, it just sort of took up. Yeah, it was just turned into one big blur. I would say my favorite photo out of the whole shoot would have to be this one here. A, the actual refractions are nice and clean. They're not too overpowering. I nailed the focus in this image. And with portraits, what I've learned from this shoot is you need to get the photos in focus and the model can't be even a little bit blurred. Otherwise, it just doesn't look as good and it's a lot mm. harder to yeah. edit. Yeah, that is true. Especially with neon portraits where it's low light, very difficult to edit already. And then from the first location, my favorite photo was this one here. Uh, I do like the refraction here. We got a bit on the left, a nice sort of simple refraction. And then the red lighting, back lighting, uh, Steph's face is really clean. There was a white light coming from the right, which helped lit up Steph's face. So it's not just red and like, all mm. colored from the neon because when that happens it's really hard to get a nice skin tone so because there's white light coming here it worked out well and Lamont yeah. actually this did a was... way better edit than me <laughs> this was this was my version of the photo so these are these two photos right? so sick. I had photos of the actual like neon sign I was able to take one of those and photoshop it in and it added that refraction in at the bottom here yeah this photo here is I, I don't know very I really, clean thank you yeah I just clean. I like the colors in this shot here, I also like her pose. It's sort of mm. just like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I just like the way she looks in this image and yeah. whatever the game is behind her, because it's circle, it sort of just helps frame her within the mm. shot. My favorite photo in terms of like insane refractions were these last ones we got here. Yeah, so like- That is insane. Yeah, it's and that was using- These little bracelets here. So yeah. I don't know if you can yeah. see anything. Yeah, or... ready? If I zoom it in to 35, this is what it does. Look at the refractions these bracelets create. The good thing is it's not overpowering to the point where you can't actually see anything. So it actually just refracts the light so nicely. Like, yeah. Look at that. That's no That's Photoshop. So Literally zero Photoshop. That's just a Lightroom edit. So mm. if you want to see all these photos from the shoot, head over to my Instagram at 7th year and also Lamont's uh, at Lamont Fan. And all these photos were edited using my presets and I did actually use some of yours. So oh, nice. I will uh, link That's both good. of our presets in the description. Uh, oh, one thing I forgot to mention, how to win the Sigma 35 millimeter. Oh, yeah, true. That's true. important. Very important. So imagine if I forgot that. Oh, all right. shit. So if you want to have the chance of winning this Sigma 35 millimeter F1.4, all you have to do is be following me, be following Sigma Photo Australia on Instagram, and you need to comment your Instagram plus your lens mount in the comments below on this video. So you have a week to do this. I'm going to be announcing the winner on my Instagram in a week from now. So I'll be doing updates on my Instagram so that you know when I'm going to do it exactly. So this is worldwide. So if wherever you're from in the world, you can enter and you can potentially be winning this lens for free. Yeah. Shout out to Steph at Steph Fatty on Instagram for modeling. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Ariana for shooting the B-roll. Thanks to you for just coming along and bringing these things. Yep. Um, who else can I shout out? Shout out Sigma for helping Some giving away lens. a lens. Yeah. Uh, and shout out to you for watching to the end. Thank exactly. you. Yeah. Exactly. Sweet, that is all for today's video. All right, we're gonna do it right this time. That's true. All right, that is all for today's video. As always, don't think, just do. You. Repetition shop and blaze Like me, 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 she my serving up every single plate The hottest in the season, even summer looks away Cause I got something to prove I'm here cause I pay my dues So please tell me something new I'm in the...